So in this video, I'm going to talk about a character which is pronounced Qian. Qian in the second tone. And it means uh, before or in, in front. Before. Before. Or in front. And um, it is in front and before when it comes to time and space both. So for instance, if you say Qian Mian, it means um, like ahead or like in front of something. And if you say Yi Qian, it means before. And it's, it's a very frequent character, uh, I, I, actually I should say a very frequent morpheme that you can find in many, many expressions, so um, you can go and look that up if you like. And um, the, the character that you see written here is, um, is the modern version of the character, but um, to help you understand its etymology better, we need to go one step back and uh, look at what the character used to look like before. Now, I chose a slightly um, darker shade of gray uh, so that you see that these two characters are <laughs> related in a sort of like a timely fashion. This is this was earlier and this is later, so this is the character closer to us and this is the older one. And um, it used to be composed of these two or formed by these two elements. The top one is this element over here which is pronounced zhi. In the third tone, it means to stop, to not, basically to not move. And the bottom element is this element, this entire thing over here, which is pronounced zhou, zhou, and in the first tone. And it's a small, small boat. And the, the whole character, um, basically, with, it, with these two elements, uh, and let me, let me just write that, boat, boat, and uh, the top one is to stop. Stop. And basically, uh, this character is a meaning meaning compound, which means that all elements in the character are pointing to the meaning of the character, and none of them are pointing to its sound. And uh, the, the original meaning of the, uh, basically, what this character stood for was to proceed. And it is interpreted as basically to, to move without, uh, without moving, right? Because you. Um, you, you stand on the boat, you're not moving, but the boat is moving, so you're basically proceeding. And, and that's what these elements are doing in this character. So to, to, to proceed without moving is basically qian. And then as time proceed, it, it proceeded, uh, they simplified this character down into, into what we see here today. So the top part, this, let me just separate this, uh, the top section of the character was simplified into one, two, three strokes, right? One, two, three to these three strokes and the bottom section of the character was replaced by by these two elements here and by the way these two elements separately um, this element is pronounced yue and it means moon or it can be pronounced ro and it means meat and this element over here is pronounced dao and it's knife it's a knife so none of these, like both of these elements have nothing to do or are in no relation to the uh, pronunciation or the meaning of the character Qian before. And they are here only because they've been chosen arbitrarily to replace this Zhou element of the of its preceding character. And this is a very frequent feature of Chinese character, so characters. So if you find, if you, if you encounter Chinese characters that have elements that have seemingly no relation to the meaning or the pronunciation of the character, it's a very frequent thing. So let me show you real quick how to write this character. Um, very, very easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let me do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I will see you in the next one.